Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode we went on a few adventures. The second of them had uh, us dealing with a lot more stress than we're used to. We did some uh, some problems when we went camping and ended up leaving there with a lot of issues. We had to clear some diseases and quirks and clear some stress but I think overall last episode was pretty successful. We did a decent job and yeah it went okay so let's go and jump into the hamlet shall we. Here we are back in the cursed estate and yes we took these guys out last time both Mary and Berthold are not doing so well in terms of stress they're having some issues uh, let's sort these guys out by level and get ready for our next adventure and see what we're going to do here I don't think we had anyone stage coach no but I do believe we did level up to allow a level fours to appear which is going to be very very nice for us indeed very much looking forward to that um, we do have a free weapon upgrade coming but let's see what we want to go what we want to go and do first okay so we gotta be we do have to be very careful of things like this when we have both the bosses in one place at once and um, it's a little hard to tell but we definitely have two bosses here uh but yes we definitely want to be moving on to these level three bosses very shortly i think we're almost ready maybe two three more episodes um of ranking people up and we'll be ready to get into that i really don't want to delay it too much longer because it is a really big step in our progression uh coming up but at the same time i, I want to make sure we're ready i want to make sure that we uh that we are prepared to go in and do this we do also have the killing the miller in the farmstead that's available to us um this doesn't seem that worthwhile arsonist here um that's that's actually decent I, I i like the idea of that but our runes is already quite ranked up uh i kind of want to go to one of these three here um we can go for a medium level one um or a curve we'll go for a curve short at level two and rank up some more of our level twos here let's see who we want to take out with us shall we um i think we're going to take out yatsu here i think yatsu is going to be great under this circumstance i can never remember which position she wants to be in okay so two's fine for her she wants someone that she can dance with up front um Unfortunately, Mars here doesn't really have the ability to be too movable. I need characters that have the ability to hit and move at the same time. Um, who is that going to be? Could go with uh, Manold again here. Manold did great for us last time that he went out. Um... Urku here, unfortunately, doesn't really fit that role. We don't have too many people that fit that role, honestly. Um, I thought we had a few more that could maybe slot in there and help us out, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case here um so let's have a little look who we want to take out shall we i still want to take it actually nonetheless um Still more taken on the list. Do you know what? I might take her on the next mission of today. Let's get a bunch of people that are really close to level three, up to level three. So I'll bring Henry Jackal out with us here because he hits like an absolute truck. So I'll bring him out. Um we'll bring Urku out as well. Although Urku has to be in front line. You don't have to be in front line, so you can go here. Urku, you can come up here. Um Sabrina will put you in the back line here. And we could take Aaron because he does have a decent heal um, that, cu that cures horror. Or we could go with um, Alexander here, who has the party heal, which is probably a little more reliable. I think we'll take Alexander here. And this will be a decent little party. These guys aren't too well acquainted with each other, I don't think. Uh, but these guys will probably make a pretty good party here. So let's get everyone trinketed up. Um, we, we definitely want Henry taking the, the brunt of all the damage buffs. And we're going into the curve here, aren't we? So we'll buff him against Eldritch. That's the first thing we'll do. So let's go down to the general uh, ones here. So buff against Eldritch there. He has no dodge, so this is fine. Uh, and then we want another thing that's like, going to be a straight flat damage up. He's got really low crit, so we just kind of want to up his base damage. We don't care too much for upping his crit. Although his crit is a nice thing to, to bump, I don't think it's all that relevant, to be honest. Um, 15 damage. We could go with a 15 damage and 3 crit here. Uh, I don't actually think there's much that's going to be better for us, to be honest, because this doesn't really work for us. Uh, unless, unless, do you know what? Let, let's put that on him. And push him into position 1. And Urku is going to mean, it is going to mean that Urku can't take the uh take the initiative to do gorge actually 
even saying that, because he won't have the initiative to use Gorge, let's swap him out for maybe Trell here. It's been a little while. Oh no, Trell's away at the minute, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, of course. Trell's away. Um, Harathan could go out. Harathan in the curve with Blight. Blight works against these guys, so let's go with that, I think. Yeah, let's 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 take Harathan out here. He's gonna be pretty decent for us. Um, and then you can go with crit and accuracy. Uh, and then on top of that, we shall give you. We could give him even more crit. Damage against marked isn't really that big for him though. Or we could give him the jar of slime for that healing. Let's give him the jar of slime. Then. Our boy here is going to be taking the extra healing here and the extra healing here. Does lower his HP to a really, really horrible place. Um, especially with this eager to push the front. This might not be great, but I'm going to do this anyways. Or is it worth putting a different trinket on him just to make sure we don't get too, too hair out there? Yeah, let's let's maybe not put this on him and put something else on him instead, just so he doesn't get too hurt while he's out there. I think that might be a little bit of a mistake taking that. Uh, so let's see what else we could get on him. We could go with slightly less speed and a little more scouting. This is only a short mission, though. So I I feel that that isn't that isn't particularly necessary. Um, damage reflection. We don't want we don't want anything that minuses off maximum HP really. Here, um, we don't want resolve XP on him because he's a healer. We kind of want to keep him going. Uh, Let's have a little look. Let's just go with the accuracy dodge and then purchase. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm fine with that. And then over here we have Sabrina. She does have some of her own trinkets that she can take. She has three, in fact. Uh, one that's going to give us extra damage and crit while stealthed. One that's going to give us extra dodge. And one that's going to give us extra speed. Uh, but I, I don't really think that they're the right things to play on her. Um... Of course, we could go with that lower accuracy on the first round, but she doesn't really have a prepping skill for that, so I don't think that's the best of ideas. Uh, I think we'll place her a stress book on her just to help her out there. She has minus four speed in the first round anyways. Um, okay, that none of that's really a problem. Um, yeah, so we'll go with a slight reduction of stress. And what's your dodge and stuff like? Okay, let's let's up your crit and stuff a little bit for a little bit lower speed. And I think this is going to be good. This is kind of a low speed group, but I think these guys are going to work well together. And we'll take ourselves, um, we'll take ourselves eighteen food, three shovels, and then we'll take two of everything else. It's been a little while since we've done a short mission, actually, hasn't it? It's been quite a while, actually. And we'll bring ourselves. 14. Do you know what? We'll bring ourselves 14 food as well. We don't need 18. And we'll bring ourselves some hair of the sea dog just in case. Make sure these guys are tied over and, and ready to help out. And I think it's going to be a pretty good adventure. And we do have a few diary entries here. Diary entries have slowed down a little bit just because obviously there's been a lot of, a lot going on and people are dealing with school and all that sort of stuff. So I, 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 I'm, I'm not saying anything about it. It's just something to note. So we do have a few less than normal. And we haven't been doing bosses recently, which is another reason. But these ones are from TEA. Um, and this is one for Aurora at Arbalest. The wield has become too dangerous for my lone hunting trips. Even with Ruby at my side, we're still in danger of losing our lives every time we go into that forest. As such, I've been pr pretty idle lately. Soon as Sis, who is some kind of scholar, asked me to come with her it back into the ruins. It was different than I remember. The monsters present there were more dangerous. Huge armoured skeletons. Demons trying to claw their ways out of wells. And worse in the future, I'm sure. Ooh, I love that. I love that. I, I always love the diary entries. Always. Okay, so this should be a pretty quick one. We've got to explore ninety percent of room, so we kind of got. We've got to go both ways here. I reckon um, Henry Jackal will destroy this. Absolutely destroy this. We do have to remember though, he is observed, which does mean stalk. Sorry, which does mean that we're going to get these guys, the these Eldritch spawning. But he does have extra extra damage against the Eldritch anyways, so that doesn't bother me too much. Let's just plant some blight on you. Straight off the bat. He's going to be guarding, buffing, all that sort of stuff. Um, oil blood. Let's just blight everything even more. You get a strike in the heart. Nice one, Sabrina. And a nice hit to you. 23 damage. He's going to be one-shotting a lot of things, I think. Henry Jackal, he's entered his beast form. He's no longer the doctor he once was. His beast has taken over, and he will prevail. 
Heal everyone up. I know that's not really healing everyone up, but that's fine. That's 14 on the body. Does he have a chance to attack the wrong target or did I just misclick there? It's possible I just misclicked there, but I didn't feel like I did. And heart strike there. Lovely. Oh, and some rubies to start off. Nice little bit of uh, gold finding there. I like, I like that. I like that. That's what I like to see. We'll keep pushing on. Push on to the task's end, as he says. Well, this should be a very, very quick one for us, and we can head straight into another one. Maybe even a long one. We'll see We'll see what uh, presents itself to us. But yes, I know that this series has been sort of in a, in a, in a lull sort of thing. It's not been slow, to, so to say. We've still been achieving a lot. Um, very nice. But we haven't been killing any bosses recently. But it's just because we've got so many characters to prepare and so many characters to level up. I don't want to leave people out and make... I, I want to I wanna make it so that everyone is viable and we can spend time with everyone. Uh, so we haven't been using our level threes quite as much recently. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm sure you guys can understand the reasoning for all of this. Um, get the player gun, everyone. And you're dead. 36 damage, my god. Oh, unfortunate miss there, but this will fix it. Nice crit, Sabrina. Nice crit. Rent for the old gods. A little bit of bleed on us here and a crit. Oh, we resisted the bleed. That's nice. Wait, Danke's going to move forward. We should have time to kill him now, though. Nice hit, Sabrina. Oh, unfortunate miss there, Henry. Unfortunate miss. Uh, you're going to die to this, aren't you, sir? So... Um... Oh, I can't do it to the front. That's unfortunate. Just get a bit more blight on you then, I guess. We don't need the heal yet. And then, boil blood. Pretty much an insta-kill boil blood. Very nice. Ooh, we're getting a lot today. A lot. Um, Lamia is just plus dodge. We don't really care about that. Um, we'll throw away some herbs for this. We'll see what we get in here. Lovely. We definitely want portraits. We'll full, full, throw away anti-venom for that. Okay, it's so all of these rooms done. We've got some more combat on the way back as well. They've surrounded us. They've jumped us, but we get the surprise. And we take you out in one hit. No, I'm always like one damage off of killing those guys. So annoying. But we'll kill him here. That's nice. You're not going to be dealing any stress to us at all. These guys are getting blighted. I love that attack. It's so useful for just blighting the entire party. Setting them up for uh, extra attacks later. Even if it is only a, a, a light amount of blight. Still very, very nice. And we'll just mark you. Does a little bit of damage. Overkill with a 21. My god, Henry is just an absolute beast of a man. An absolute towering giant among this among this world. He managed to disarm on a really low chance there. I didn't mean to click as him then. I meant to click as Sabrina, but he managed to disarm anyways. Let, let's see what his chance is. I'm pretty sure it's quite low. Oh, it's 60%. That's not too bad. But yeah, I was meant to use Sabrina because she's got 100%. She has made her way around these places. She's been working with Linus to practice her trap disarming skills. And they have... Uh, I don't know. I, th I think her and Linus would become pretty good friends. They haven't been out together yet, I don't think. We don't really have many rangers go out with each other. Uh, but... They seem, they seem likely to be to be getting on well. Ooh, that's unfortunate. We could have got rid of something there. Eerie Coral is always nice to find, but we didn't, unfortunately, have the prerequisite to use it. Another surprise here. That's really good. Um, light on you straight away. He hit, hits you. Only eight damage. You, you survived there. You survived well. This guy's dead. Yeah, Seven, a crit for 17. Nice one, Sabrina. That's the hits we like to see. Seaward Slash. Little bit of damage. This guy has such insane uh, maximum HP anyways so that we don't really care about direct hits to us. You're dead. Oh, no, you're not. You're a one-off. And you hit us as well. The revenge. Oh, and a dodge as well. One thing about Henry. His rage. His rage makes him inaccurate. Oh, he moved to the front. He moved to the front. That's unfortunate. Part of his quirk. Finish you off a bit early. Just make sure you don't get an extra turn. I didn't think he would anyways, but that's fine. He's not going to be able to do anything from here, so we'll just restore. Activate that repost. And this will kill you. 32 damage. Holy hell. More rubies. Love to see that. Uh, touch it. Oh, just some stress relief. That's great. Wasn't expecting that, but I'm very happy with it. 
Nice disarm there again, Sabrina. Everyone is very happy with your work right now. We're going to be coming away with this with a decent amount of money. Three rubies is like unprecedented amounts. Very nice to see. Also, there's a chance that when we go back to town, we might have a level 4 coming, which is something we haven't seen yet, which would be really, really nice. Seeing some level 4 travellers would be good. Also, it means we'll probably see more level 3 travellers, but that was a very easy mission. We managed to get through that with no problems whatsoever. Everyone's returning to the hamlet feeling, feeling just fine. Thank you for the work, guys. Why does the next button sometimes not work? I don't get it. But everyone here has reached level 3. Great. Um, rabies, unfortunately, there. So I think two things we're going to do here is let's just... Um, idle Urshanborn to get one resolve level. We don't have an Urshanborn right now, but that's an interesting little thing there. Right, so let's quickly unequip all trinkets and go over and just sort by level. Right, um, you... We need to get rid of Malnourished here. It's just, it's such a problem. And Harathan here needs to get rid of Rabies. Great. Right, let's see if we've got... We do have our first level 4 to arrive. Um, on Memento. We have a lot of level 3s as well. So let's just quickly take these two out of the roster and resort. Right, so. We have a level 4 Helion, which... Our Helion currently is level 2, I think. So that's a pretty big upgrade. Yeah, Felther. So, Felther is leveling up a lot. She's been training a lot. Felther, there you go. Send this Felther away. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I um, think... I think these are the skills we normally have on Felther here. Uh, let's have a look who else we've got here in terms of our lower levels. So we've got a new Verona at level 3. So Verona can come in here. Whoa, what the hell? Don't know what happened there. Um, Verona. And this Verona can be sent away. Saves us a little bit of money. Um, Plague Doctor is exactly the same. Seraph is exactly the same, I'm pretty sure. And the Sunlight Warrior is also the same. So these guys aren't getting any upgrades. But that was that's interesting. We got we got a lot of good stuff there. No new uh, no new classes yet though. But that was two really good upgrades there. I'm very happy to see those. Let's see what trinkets we have available to us. We have another one for our banished hunter. So let's take a look at our banished hunter really quick and see what we can do with him. So his his trinkets seem to change a lot about him. So with this one, we'd be getting. Extra crits versus beasts, extra melee skills, and on crit, debuff a target with minus 10 prot and 10% damage received. Wow, for five rounds, but it will lower his speed. That's a, that's a very good trinket here. Uh, we don't do a lot of melee as him, to be honest, but that's still a very, very good trinket. We also have this here. Um... 20% damage, 30% um, bleed chance, but minus 50% healing received and minus 50% healing skills. That's difficult. Um, ooh, alchemist with a with a repost skill there. So let's let's just find J Joseph Hare here. Um, what's his repost skill? This one here uh, activates repost on hit bleed. This would also on hit blight as well. So that could be interesting. Minus 10 dodge there isn't a big deal. Uh, what else do we have here? Salamander. We don't have a salamander yet. Privateer. So that would increase his healing a lot, but lower his stress healing. I'm going to take that. I'm going to buy that up. Um, let's also just take a look at our other shop as well and see if there's anything else that really, really f takes our fancy. That's very good. Arbalist. That's very good. Crusader. Wow. That would make him uh, a bona fide healer, that would. That would make him a really, really strong healer. 33% healing skill, 30% stress healing. That That's actually very, very good, but that would be all of our money. Um, so I probably don't want to take that yet. 
I don't think there's anything here we want to take right now. It just, it costs us too much of our money, too much of, of a big chunk of our money to, to do that. Um, right. Let's sort by level again and see what we want to embark next, shall we? So, probably want to go on this one here, this medium one for three grain sacks. This does have a chance of us fighting our our dear friend, the Collector, once once again. Um... But I think I think we want to do this. I think we want to do this. It's it's not for a very good trinket though. That's that that I will say. But at the same time, there's not much better available. So let's let's do this one. Uh, so this is going to be top by character class restriction. Very nice. This is going to be a trip into the Warrens again. We're going for some level ups here, but as you can see, we're really whittling down the list of our lower level people. We're, we're really getting there quite quickly. So let's make some good decisions here. So Leo can come out again. Leo's been out. I don't know. Leo's been out very recently. Um, so I don't ever bring him out. I don't really want to bring Sixth out until we have to go into the wield again. I think he really thrives in the wield. Um and I wanna I wanna keep it that way. So let's go with Hmm. Sophia would be fun to bring out again. Let's let's maybe go for another on death's door type build, shall we? Linus, you can come out as well. You've not been out in a little while. After the first round, minus three speed. That's that's annoying. Uh, it gives us some backline damage here. Um, or we could bring Havarad. Havarad's got much more need for backline damage. Do you know what? Let's bring out Havarad instead. I've got a little bit of an idea with, with him for what we can do here. Um, yeah, all of this is pretty good. Then, who do we want to be Death's Door buffing? I mean, we could go with Rinaldius here. Rinaldus, sorry. We could go with Rinaldus here. That that could be pretty interesting. Rinaldus is is very strong. Um, unfortunately, we kind of need someone that's a frontline hitter that can hit the backline, which we don't really have any available of, to be honest. Um... Yeah, we don't really have anything like that available. Morgana could possibly do it. Possibly. Although her base damage isn't exactly super high. We kind of need someone that's like already got pretty good base damage to sort of lead the charge here, so to say. We could do Urku. <sighs> Urku being a Death's Door one, that's... That's scary. But... Also, I kind of want to do it. <laughs> but what if we lose Urku? I'd be so sad if we lost Urku. But at the same time, he is a beast. He is an absolute beast. <sighs> Let's try it out. And then who else do we want to bring? Who else do we want to bring along with us? Maybe we do want to bring Rinaldius here. Uh, giving that prop. Is there anyone we've got that can give blocks to anyone? I don't think we have any anyone that can. I don't think anyone here can give blocks, which is unfortunate. Who else do we want? Maybe we do want Morgana with us here. Maybe we do want Dai. Hmm. Or Mars, maybe. Mars is always a confusing one for me. He's, he, he seems difficult to play correctly. If someone can give me some tips on playing Mars, um, our uh, Fury, that would be really helpful because I, I do find him a pretty difficult person to play as. So any extra tips as him would be great. Okay, let's 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 be let's be sensible about this. We need a healer. We need a healer. Let's bring out a healer before we before we go gallivanting off. So I almost, I almost went out without a healer then. That would be terrible. So... I think we go with... Aaron, maybe? We need, we need an AoE heal, though. Aaron's a decent heal, but it's not AoE. We don't really have it, do we? We don't really have AoE healing here. In, the, in this bottom section of people, at least. Maybe go with Nori. Yeah, let's go with Nori, shall we? Um, 
Can cause enemies to skip turn. Interesting. Summon Mirage. Plus one combat action. And this one is the one that... 3% debuff skill chance. Isn't this the one that makes them skip a turn? Focus rare. Uh, bypass stealth. De-stealth. Torch minus 30. Did it get reworked? Minus 3% debuff skill chance. It's got torch above 30. Debuff skill chance. Minus 35. Plus 35 damage received. Minus 3. I thought there was one that... That negated a combat action from an enemy with with this character. Maybe maybe that's not who I'm thinking of here. Maybe that's not who I'm thinking of. Hmm. I think this will be pretty decent though. Nori giving that uh, giving that healing. So. Let's let's uh, party everyone up. Let's get everyone's trinkets going. So first of all, Nori, you want your trinkets, so you can have. Yeah, that's fine with me. You can have that, and then you can have this one here. Extra restoration amount received, and minus restoration. Wait, what? Oh, that's only for her. Does that only apply to her? Plus 50 cent uh, restoration amount received. Oh, because you can do the trading thing. I'll still keep that on her anyways, I think. I think that's a good way of doing that. Um, Oku could, could go with the Jar of Slime. Uh, I think we want him with the Death's Door stuff, though, don't we? So we give him... Let's have a look. We give him this. So he can't heal. But he gains extra damage if below 50% HP. And he gets a block. No healing received at Death's Door. What's his natural Death's Door resist? It's 79 right now. And then we can buff it even more with the second Death's Door trinket we have. Where's that one? There it is. E extra resistances. Plus 20 Death Blow resist. Um, plus 20 stress if not at Death's Door. 87. 87's the maximum by the looks of it. Oh, we could go to Ancestral Tomb. Or... Seven, 87, wait. 87, and then it goes down to... 79. So we're not getting that big of a percent jump there. So I don't think that's super necessary. Maybe we'll just go for his class-specific repost thing. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Give him that major repost there. Then you... I never really know what to put on Sophia. Sophia's a difficult one. You're already set up. You, I definitely know what I want on you. So we want this here because he gets really low accuracy and low speed in the first round. So the first round he gets to set up this. And the second round he goes straight away and gets this with that massive buff to accuracy. I think that's going to work really well for him. And then on top of that... We shall buff his damage, maybe? Or should we just, like, buff his range skills? We could just buff his range skills. But what with, though? What's going to be the best thing to buff them with? I don't particularly know. Or we could just give him more prop. I always have difficulty doing this. Um, yeah, because his, dam his, his default damage is very low. His base damage is very, very low. So, we're not getting too much out of that right now. We could do this. But I think lowering his dodge by that much is kind of a problem. But no, no. I'll put that on anyways. I think that's going to work out. I think that's going to work out. Because he's got low speed anyways. And then, yeah, like I said, Sophia's a weird one. She's not going to be hitting things, really. Um, so, is, is, is there anything we can put on her to give her better stress relieving? I don't think there is, is there? Um, we could go with a flat 25 prot and then a stress reliever. Could go with accuracy and crit. Actually, you can take that instead of the boots, you know. Rather rather than losing the speed, take the ring. There you go. Then you're definitely going to hit your shots. Doesn't I know it doesn't buff his damage at all. 
but heal. So, Sophia, what do you want then? Um, you're not going to be hitting anything. So let's go with... Prot. Yeah, let's just go with Prot for you. And see, this is... This is a difficult one, and I'm a little scared, I've got to say. I'm a little scared. Especially considering the restore isn't a guarantee, but this does heal for two to three, so that's fine. Let's try this out. I'm very, very scared. I'm very, very scared, because Urku could die here. We tried this last time. We had it going. Unfortunately, it didn't work, but this time... This time, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. What do you guys think? Right. Provisions. Let's go. Full stack. Full stack. Full stack. Three, 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 and four. Okay. I'm very scared because, like I said, this could just go terribly, terribly wrong. But we got to take risks in life. We got to try it out. Let's go. Uh, we do have another diary entry here, and this one is for um, Sunasis, our librarian, again by TEA. The trouble with the friar is still fairly recent, and as such, I decided that on the for foray into the ruins would shed... Um, I, I decided the foray into the ruins would shed some light onto what he had discovered. I did not find much, but I uh, book de detailing the ancestors' experiments with necromancy. It was horrific. I'd almost consider burning the book, but I decided that Will may look into it instead. And that's Will June there. Our heir. Okay. Got, got to get three grain sacks. So we kind of got to just explore everywhere here. But yeah, this is going to be like a kind of a dangerous way of playing, but I'm, I'm excited by it. I'm excited by it. Okay, that doesn't bother me too much. So... Does this not remove an action anymore? It, it definitely used to. Did it get changed? <laughs> or am I thinking of a different character entirely? Because <laughs> plus 35% 30, 30, damage received and minus 3 speed doesn't seem worth torch minus 30. Um, but give him another action. It does give him 8 stress. Give him a block. We should have used this really. It's a free action. We don't actually, actually, what am I doing? I don't want really to give him blocks yet, do I? It's a hit on us there, that's fine. Nice hit. I, made, I say a nice hit, that wasn't even that good. Wait a minute. On attack hit, self one block at death's door. But he, he's not at death's door, so why is he getting that? And also, why is he at other skill? He's at very low speed right now. Oh, it's just because of his... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Prime him. He should get to go first next. Right, do that first. And do that. Okay, this speed thing's not really worked out how I was planning it to, but that's fine. Nice hit. Then go like that. Gives everyone restoration. Ouchy. Wait, he can still heal with restoration. Oh, no, he can't, no. But watch this. So I hit. Oh, it didn't hit. <laughs> I was going to demonstrate something and they didn't even hit. Yeah, okay, that blocked him again. He still keeps this damage buff for a few rounds. So this is good to go. Well, Havarad's amazing. Bit of restoration there. But yeah, smack there. It didn't do it that time. Before, it, there we go. It gave us an Aegis and then blocked it. Like we're dealing damage to ourselves. But that's not how that's meant to work while we're at full HP. Like, it, I, I don't really know why it's doing that. I can't really tell. But I won't complain. Uh, quest location. Both these are curious. That's fine. I brought the Loudenum, by the way, because of this stress dealing thing that we've got going on with um, Nori here. Give him a free action. We've got to give him some stress as well. Which I'm fine with, to be honest. Okay, that's fine. Probably take some stress here. 
No. Right. Start off with this. Always start off with this. Add that to you. Probably shouldn't add it to him, really, but it's it's fine. Then... We'll give you the free action straight away, I think. I think it's worth it. Ow. And what does this debuff do? Extra stress. That's fine. Plus 50% stress. Oh my god. Um, have we done this yet? We haven't. Don't worry, we've got this going on. Should be able to relieve a lot of stress here. Nice dodge there, Urku. And then you're going down. <laughs> Probably better to give him an extra action, actually. That repost is very nice. Okay, he's taking a lot of stress on right now. Let's just give everyone some regen. Everyone needs it. Apart from... Oh, God's sake. Didn't, you didn't get any. I always forget that that can happen. He's not doing that much damage, considering his range is from 9 to 18. He keeps dealing near to 9 more often than not right now. 57 on a crit? Wow. Oh, my God. Does his kaboom thing up his crit as well? It doesn't. It just keeps getting crits. He's just lucky as all hell. Um... I think we're all better off with the stress relief for now. He doesn't need the block yet. More restoration for everyone. Nice hit. That's, you, you can't be protected anymore. Look where it hurts. It did indeed hurt. <laughs> Look at this end of the crit. What the hell? What's his crit at right now? 10%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. This this is going well. Ooh, that almost that almost bit me in the ass there saying that, didn't it? <laughs> very near. Very, very near. Alright, pick that up. Yeah, we just gotta manage uh, Urku's stress levels. I mean Urku is a stressed being anyways. Like look at him. He has some battle scars. You can tell why he gets extra stressed. Oh, secret room. Awesome. Oh wait, I'm dumb. I'm big dumb. I'm big, big dumb. I forgot to open the quest thing. I was thinking maybe we'll come back to it, but no, I'm going to open it now and, and get our inventory sorted. I forgot. Step in here. Grab it. Replace that for now. Yeah, let's just grab things as we see them. Okay, that's not great. Doesn't matter, we'll just fight it. Okay. Brig and blood, blood letter. We can deal with him. Um, everyone else here is fine. So let's go with double action on you. For the pretty much insta-kill. Okay, you're almost at half HP now. Let's just do the stress relief again. He's not quite at half, though. Animosity. This is going to up his stress taken. So you should be able to do this. And then... That. And then this again. Oh, not quite. Okay, you're definitely below half HP now. Wow, that's a big repost. So his damage is buffed by a lot now. So now we want to start applying blocks to this guy like crazy to keep him at like low HP. He gets even more into the death's door, but keeping him at low HP like this also works. So a blessing. Ooh. Is that a good disease? Or is that just a disease? Is that just a disease? It might be just a just a disease. Right, um he can't hit from here, can he? Do that again. Plus 60% stress for two rounds. Wow. You're dead. So, can I remove this, heal him up with food, and carry on? Because I kind of want to do that. <laughs> like, we can't take those right now. Um, We're just going to leave the deeds. I know I need them, but I'm just going to leave them for now. Everyone's doing fine here.
But yeah, like, he's going to be in a tricky situation because he's not going to get... He's not going to get a, um, a thingy when he hits Death Star, I don't think. It's only on attack at Death Star that he gets one. So we've got to make sure to get give him a block. Otherwise, he'll just not resist a single Death Blow and die. And I have a feeling that's what's going to happen anyways as soon as we come across the Collector. So we just got to be ready for that. This next room here will be the Collector. Like, th this one here is the Collector. I, I, I pretty much guarantee it. Oh my god, no, it's not. Holy hell, we're lucky. Right. Start this up. Apply that block. Um, yeah, I should apply regen to everyone for now. Oh, we, we forgot to look at his disease, didn't we? Solar Blessing. Minus Solar Addiction. Ooh, this is interesting. 25% healing received if health below. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. I wonder what Solar Addiction is then. Wow, hit for 18. That's what we like to see. Light that up. Light the fuse. Haha, -ha, no hook where it hurts. Nice block. Nice dodge. Something that I haven't really thought about either. Another huge crit. Something I haven't thought about either that we can do, which is going to be pretty interesting, actually. Let's clear some stress. You get six stress relief each time we do that as well. Is You'll, you'll see it in a moment if I can manage it. Ow. So, we do this. Gonna put some horror on you. But then we do that. Right, hit you. He's gonna hit us. That's fine, we dodged it, nice. You're dead. What I was gonna do is, I was gonna apply two lots. Yeah, we can leave that. Two lots of this. For, for two blocks. Uh, it has a cooldown of one round, though. Okay, that, that wouldn't work then. That's probably exactly why you can't do that. We're going to have to give away items anyways here, so let's just go straight into our secret room while we have the chance. Get ourselves three trapezoids. Um, we'll, we'll get rid of one jade for that. Yeah, we'll get rid of one jade for that. Well worth it. We're not getting very lucky with getting... Um, with getting... Trinkets from them, though. Secret rooms have a lot of trinkets in them, the head trinkets, and we're just not getting them at the moment. Start off with that. Get a block on you. And... We'll go with a double action on you. Get you set up. That stress really doesn't mean much. The speed's annoying, but otherwise we're fine. Fall and chain. Nice dodge. Go for a maim on you straight away. Mama Jama. Haha, -ha, dodged the raw. So are you already damaged up? You're not. So let's light the fuse. It should give us another action straight away. Oh no, I missed. That's really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. There's the hit. Unfortunately, left him with 2 HP, but win some, you lose some, I guess. Stop giving restoration to the guy that can't take it. God damn, that stun's annoying. Ooh, that hurt. It's a big hit. We should get rid of the stress dealer, really. We've still got a block here. Give him another block. Keep him going. I know we haven't got him down to death's door yet, but I'm just kind of trying to delay that for now. Nice dodge. Everyone in this party is dodging like crazy. It's great. Nice, Cripper 49 there, huge for us. Yeah, we are losing blocks for some reason. I, I, I just don't know why. Something we're doing is hurting us, and I, I, I'm, I'm confused by what it is. Ah, oh, we hadn't, we hadn't got the damage up there, so that didn't work. We transferred restoration. Nice hit. Um. Let's get rid of the Loudenum now, uh, and we'll get rid of the Medical Herbs as well. Take all of those. The Busts we can do without for now. Extra food. Outing chance. We got Quest Location, and yeah, we don't know where the next one is, so let's go down here real quick. 70, 100. Let's go 100. Straight away go with the 100. Take that instead of 
I don't like to do this, but I'm gonna. We've already opened our secret room, so I'm gonna leave the keys behind. The keys are normally quite useful. I don't like to leave them. But I feel in this situation, it's fine. In this situation, it kind of works out. And then the last one we could just take for like torches or something. But yeah, at the minute, while while Oku is so low, I don't want to get rid of my anti venom or bandages just in case we get some bleed coming in that could be quite problematic. He's he's got really high speed. He always goes first. Like that straight away. Always like getting this going straight away. Munch. Ow. Oh, there's the blight. That's only a small amount of blight, though. Nice block. Still gain the stress, but we did block it. Uh, yeah, we can... <sighs> Gonna say we can hit him. No, we can't. Vomit. Nice dodge again. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Yes! Another lovely dodge. Munch. feel like our party is just so insanely slow. Really not going to give it to her. Who needs it? We're managing everyone's stress nicely, which is good. You've already got your boom applied, haven't you? Let's get rid of you. You're dealing a lot of stress. We don't want to deal with you. Nice hits. Nice bleed. Stop going after her. Sophia cannot be hit, though. 57. If we find the collector, we have to get one of those big crits going on. We have to. It's going to be so good if we do. Nice hits. Right. Kind of want to keep an extra round going here. We oh, he is low now. Just so we can transfer all of my my uh, restoration to you. There you go. All the restoration transferred onto you. And kaboom. And that means you get a huge bump in healing next round. 18 healing for three rounds. Uh, we don't have any holy water anymore. Okay, where's the collector at? He's coming soon, I'm sure. Ooh, we've got two big boys here. Two very big boys. Um, let's give double action to you. Straight off the bat, your stress is low. You can deal with it. Even with that low, low speed. Start off with that. Love getting the borrowed time starting off here. Means he's not going to get insta-gibbed. Oh, don't be missing, Oku. I know you like to miss, but please don't. There we go. <laughs> the 40 crit. A little bit of stress there. That's no problem. Oh, she went into stealth. Nice. That helps out. Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just apply restoration to everyone because everyone's only a little bit hurt. 13 there. Haha, -ha, another dodge. Hit him, Urku. Hit him hard. Another block going up there. Two blocks. And there's the crit for 33. He's not even hit Death Star yet, but I am just deathly scared. Give me that. Ooh, nice. We can get rid of a bad trait here. Uh, they're all pretty much fine. This one has a mind of her own. Re Rebellious is very annoying, so we kind of want to get rid of that. Let's try and get rid of Rebellious, shall we? Damn. I don't know which one that was, but Rebellious is the one that we want to get rid of. Mind of its own means she can sometimes act and do whatever she wants. And that could really screw us. Don't, don't appear, Collector. I know you want to, but just try and hold off. Have I missed... Uh, I haven't. It, it's in this room here. Thank God that wasn't Collector. Okay, then two being switched around isn't a huge problem. Nice block. Skull toss, that can hurt. Luckily it wasn't so bad. Get the double action on you. We're building up his stress a little bit, which is a shame, but we're okay. You'll be fine, don't worry about it. Give a big smack to you, push you back as well. I love this extra action thing with Havarad, it's so good. Just crits for 12. Lovely. You're dead now, aren't you? Yeah, you're dead now. 
Oh, nice dodging. Everyone in this party is like a dodge queen. <laughs> Everyone's so good at dodging. Oh, apparently, as are you. Nice disease resist there. Oh, that did stun him as well. Nice. I love the fact that that hit is so brutal. If they survive it, they still get stunned. Get another block on you just in case. 18. <laughs> Loving this. Right. Of course. I was, I was just about to say, of course, now we can't find a collector. We find him in the very last tile possible. So I think we have to do this and just try and hit him for a huge crit. Of course, we can't do borrowed time either because it's not been one round yet. So this is bad. He just crit for 53. He just crit for 53. No! The miss. The dreaded miss. Oh, yes. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. He just crit for 53. Urku, you absolute beast. I'll take another one of them, thank you. Okay, maybe not. Uh... Let's get rid of some citrine. I should have got rid of the torches, really. Oh, well. It's only a tiny amount of gold. Wow, this this has gone well. This could still... I mean, it could still go bad right here. We could still lose Urku if we're not careful, but... Let's hope that we don't. Let's hope that we don't. Let's get that block on him. Let's get his repurse going as well. Double action for you. I know you're stressed out, but don't worry about it. It's fine. Light the fuse. Look where it hurts. There's the block and the repurse to destroy him. Thank God they're not choosing Urku to, to hit here. Oh, the misses. Come on. We have such high accuracy with this guy. We, we don't have a block prepared either. This is this this could be Urku's death right here if he's not careful. He's on death's door. Just be just just death resist once, dude. Come on. Nice dodge. Nice hit. Gives us a block. Healed us for two as well. Restoration on everyone. I was very scared for him then. Very scared for him. Still got his damage. 48, lovely. Havarad is just a beast. An absolute beast. Heal everyone up again. And finish you off. Lovely. Grab that. Grab that. And we didn't even... Do you know something that I completely forget that is possible here? We didn't even camp. Let's just make sure we don't have really good camping skills first. Camping. No. 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 Yeah, we don't we don't need any of those. Let's head back to town. Wow, that was a really good mission there. And all of these guys should level up to level three now as well. There you go. Oh, apart from Havarad, he didn't quite make it. Thought that would get him over. Vertigo, that's fine. Bypass stealth. Ooh. She doesn't do much too much attacking, so that's not great, but all of these are pretty fine. I'm happy with them. Don't think we need to really remove anything from anyone there. Supply and provision costs have been lowered. That's nice. Quickly sort by level and want to equip all trinkets. Okay. Check if we've got anyone new. A level four Urshanborn coming straight in. Okay. It's time. It is time, people. It is time to expand the roster. Uh, we need 20 sheets. Yeah, that's fine. And then...
Roster size increased. Because we have ourselves an Urshan Born as a new class. We have ourselves a Salamander as a new class. And we have ourselves a level 3 Veteran Banished Hunter. Manold, level 3, coming in. There you go. We've got our Salamander now, which is great. The Salamander's awesome. And we just got ourselves an Urshanborn as well, which for one is level 4, but for two is pretty awesome. I'm ready to mess around with the Urshanborn. He's pretty cool. He can turn to a crab. <laughs> Sound pretty cool pretty cool to have him on board but yes i hope you guys did enjoy this episode let's first off check out what we have here um doesn't look like anything that great to be honest uh we do have a hell of a lot of money though so we could check out these see if we've got anything really good here that's like super worth buying shield breaker abomination Ringmaster, no. Uh, Highwayman. We've already got a good Highwayman one, haven't we? Man at Arms. That's not great. Flagellant. That's pretty good. 20% damage, 15 crit, and extra accuracy versus bleeding. Less stress. Extra accuracy bleed chance. And we've got some just smaller ones here, like for the Scarecrow and stuff. Okay, they're, they're fine. We'll leave we'll leave that as it is. But yes, I think this has been a very successful episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, this has been quite a good one. And I will see you guys in the next one.